What's up everybody, Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and you are watching Ojeda Live. A lifetime of grift. Everybody knows that Donald Trump's father basically gave him $400 million. So, you know, and ever since his father passed away, Donald Trump has tried to take credit for all that he has had, you know, but the truth is, is now we know that he was given a bunch from his father, and, of course, you know, we know about how they, you know, they jack the prices up or down depending on insurance and loans. So he's in that he's in that trouble right now. But apparently, Trump lied and said that he was responsible for the success and not his father, which men, uh, Mary Trump said was absolutely false, which you don't have to be a rocket scientist to not be able to know that. The majority of assets actually belonged to Donald Trump's father. Basically, Trump has been lying about his work and his property since the 80s. Trump has never been checked, so it's no wonder he has just gotten worse over the years. George Santos's treasure. Now, we've been talking about George Santos quite a bit lately because he's been doing a whole bunch of stunts. I'm sure everybody saw him screaming through the halls of Congress, telling somebody they need to effing get him out of there. You know, we know that he's trying to just, you know, he's trying to, for some reason, he thinks that if he does that, that the Jewish pack is going to reach in and say, oh, save, save Santos. No, it's not going to happen. But his treasure is now cooperating with the authorities against the theft that George Santos has been caught up in for stealing from the very supporters who supported him. Now, we know one person that donated to his campaign, he then went back, got their credit card information and charged $12,000 to their card. This guy is an absolute criminal. He's going to go to prison. The only thing right now that is keeping him from prison right now is the fact that he is sitting in that friggin' House of Representatives. And I'm going to tell you right now, the Republican Party, you know, if they continue to allow these people that are the worst of the worst to stay protected within their ranks, then it's on them. But... Santos has now started to threaten others, but the truth is that he did all of this to himself. His finance, his, tre his treasure has flipped. The treasure was a part of these conversations that George Santos had. And I'll be honest with you, I think that George Santos probably cooked all of this up. He is a scammer, and that's what he does. And if not checked, he gets away with it. The guy literally won a seat in Congress for scamming all of the people in the third uh, congressional district in New York. Now they will nail him to the wall. It's almost as if people like Santos and Trump, they don't know how to tell the truth. Even if it could save them, they don't know how to tell the truth. Okay, so President Biden and the government of Qatar have just agreed to freeze the $6 billion that Trump allowed Iran to create while he was president. And I think this confirms Iran's participation in the recent Hamas attack on Israel. To me, that tells me that before Joe Biden would freeze that money, and remember, to, it wasn't exactly like they would give that money to Iran. Basically, Iran would receive food and, and medicines and things like that, and that money would be spent in Qatar. Hunter's laptop! Hunter's laptop! Yeah, Joe Biden is knocking it out of the park, and he's doing amazing things. Infrastructure package, the CHIPS Act, the PACT Act, insulin at $35. This guy, the, the, the uh, infrastructure package is creating jobs all over the country. You know, Joe Biden is absolutely knocking it out of the park. And I'm going to tell you, too, you know, everybody remembers, we keep hearing the Republicans talk about the, the debt, the, you know, the deficit. Remember that Donald Trump put $7 trillion onto our deficit. Joe Biden has already reduced that by uh, reduced it by over $2 trillion. That's another reason why we need to make sure he gets another term. Because if that's it, he will literally get rid of the, the, you know, the, the uh, Donald Trump's tax breaks. He will literally get that back. And that's what we need. We need more people like 
like Joe uh, Biden and, and, and Bill Clinton, who were the ones, and President Obama, who actually reduced the deficit because a Republican never has. And that's a fact. There's never been a Republican that re reduced the deficit. Never. All right, folks, they've added to it. And a lot they added to it. All right, folks, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Uh, make sure you hit them thumbs up, hit them hearts. But now it's time for y'all to make sure you hit that share. And uh, if you know people out there, send this to them and say, hey, check this guy out. Uh, I go live every night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on both YouTube and Facebook. So, uh, folks, y'all be good to each other. And as always, sappers clear the way, airborne all the way. Eyes right! Freezing!